Hello everyone, so today we're going to show here how to actually set your controls that is your movement keys, your mouse fire button and your backpack, stuff like that and all in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale in the new map Blackout so with the recent update there is a new map and it's called uh, Blackout yeah, so just go ahead update your game to the latest version and after that update your blue stacks also to the latest version get inside the game so after that just go in the right side corner of the game and you will see this there is these three lines so just click there and then click on settings so after you have clicked on settings just make sure that you have selected the first option which is controls and then click on battle royale mode and after that click on custom layout uh, but yeah make sure that you have selected the one tab ADS and also in advanced mode so we're going to select the advanced mode and select the one tab ADS okay so after that just click on custom layout so after that this uh, this will appear so just to be safe uh, we are going to reset this, all of these controls all right so yeah just we are going to go ahead and click on reset and save and use so now all of your controls are back to the uh, default position so just click on custom layout again so after that what we are going to do is now go over here on the right side of blue stacks you'll see this small keyboard like icon so just click there it just a game controls all right yeah so just click there and then after that set the opacity to the middle now you, you can go ahead and click on smart layout mode 2 and all but it, the smart layer will probably not work with this new game mode of the Call of Duty Mobile because it's just very new and also all of the settings are like quite in a different position right now so we are not going to deal with smart control so just make sure that you, you have selected the battle royale mode alright just make sure that you have selected battle royale mode and click on open advanced editor so after that this will appear so now you can see on the bottom of the open advanced editor uh this controls editor you will see there's there is reset button all right so if the reset button is actually glowing for you it, if it's actually okay well let me show you uh so now you can see this reset button is actually glowing right so just go ahead and click on reset once and then click on reset so just like that uh, your your game controls has been again reset back to your back to their default positions so now we're going to deal with the controls all right so first of all, uh, there is this uh, walking thing. You can see there are two WASDs. Just make sure that all of the both of them are actually rightly placed. All right, I think that's uh, pretty decent. All right. So after that, click on the tab over here, four over here, one over here, two over here, and then make sure that the B is actually placed like this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if actually you require a B, but we'll just leave them B. Now you can see the V is over here, which will be the revive option, but also it will be used to open the door later. Now we don't re actually require this one over here, but I think it has a use in the game later on, so we'll just leave it B. All right. So after that, you can see that uh, there is this F1. Just make sure that uh, you actually drag that F1 over to the top. Okay. Just make sure that you have dragged that over to the top. Now you can see there is an L over here and also middle click. So just drag the L out and put it over here. Put the Alt T above. Put the L over here. Okay, done. And then now you can see the aiming thing, which is the right click, is way off mark. So just you gotta drag that and bring it over here. Up. I don't know why the up and down is over here, but probably it's I think for the car controls. Yeah, it might be for the car controls. So just leave it be. We are not going to press the up and down like unless necessary but yeah probably to control the car or something or the tank I don't know I don't remember usually but yeah just leave it there leave it there uh, they wouldn't really bother you because you're not going to press them unless necessary so make sure that you are uh, putting the C and uh, reload in the middle over there and the uh, grenade is 3 personally I just don't like to use 3 as grenade so I'm going to go ahead and change this to G if I can um, I don't know it might mess up with the Z which is already there beforehand so I'm just trying to think what should I do about it regarding I'll just leave it at 3 alright fine so 3 will be the grenades option so after that we, we have to deal with some of the changes later on but yep make sure that the 5 is also there so 5 will be the FPP to TPP option alright so now go ahead and click on save pretty much all of the settings are, oh wait we forgot one thing so over here you can see there is this uh, box just, just, just go ahead and uh, put a control over there. You can put a caps lock too over there. Yeah, that should work it. it that's basically just the enemy's crate, I think. So just put on. Ca uh, if you click on caps lock, the enemy's crate will stop showing up. Because when you're trying to fight, sometimes when you walk over a crate, it just pops up, right? So to turn that off, you just uh, put a control over there. Put a key over there. So now most of the settings are done. So just go ahead and click on save. And after that, cl click on the cross shine over here. And then what we're going to do is put the grenade option over here. And then reduce the size a bit. Sorry, the uh, mouse is a little bit started. All right. So after that, bring this over here down. And then ov over here, you can see there's this open door option. So just go over here and just drag it over till here. 
so in this way you can actually open the door using your v2 and also you can revive someone with the v so that way you can use the v for that both purposes all right so most of the settings are now completely well in the right place so to say and the shift i don't know regarding the fast running the shift running we will see about that but anyways just go ahead and click on save and use so that should be it pretty much for the battle royale game mode the new map blackouts i'm just going to go inside the game and maybe check a little bit like how it is actually so yeah before uh there was this thing that you even if you like queue in the in the computer you always stay alone you don't really get matched up with anyone else you don't get a teammate because you're playing on computer i don't know why but yeah that's just how it is so with this recent new update though it, it, it's just completely different so just press on f1 again and you will get the controls of the game so there now you can see i can control the guy on the screen and let's see all of the walking controls seem pretty fine we're going to go find a gun and then see if we can actually shoot the gun okay we found ourselves a gun now let's try to find another gun too to make sure that the other side is also working pretty fine all right now we're going to press 2 and see if it's working fine all right you can see that i switched my weapon and also i can shoot pretty good aiming also quite decent aiming is also quite decent Okay, you can see probably that it's all fine you can just go ahead again inside the game and well test out if the settings are working fine or not see if everything's um pretty all right yep and if something seems off you can again just go through the process again and then uh, see make sure that every uh, every button is rightly placed all right so that's how you can deal with it probably i'll just stop the video over here and yeah if you want uh want to just deal with something uh in the in the screen just press on f1 again and your mouse will come back up all right so that's how you can bring back your mouse up and you can probably see now like the opacity is a little bit little bit too much so you can just reduce it a little bit over here so that way the buttons will be also see through and you can at the same time see also what buttons they are just to be safe like you can reduce it a little bit that's just not much or else you won't even recognize what you're pressing or what you need to press all right that's how you can deal with it um i'll be stopping the video now hopefully it helped this is like a custom custom uh keybinds for the battle royale game mode but yeah probably this should help all right i'll see you guys later in the next video maybe until next time then